Natural insulated panels offer a potential solution to New Zealand's housing crisis by providing energy efficient and highly prefabricated buildings and research at Brands is aimed at finding out more about them. Research funded by Brands and EQC is looking at how structural insulated panels or SIPs perform in New Zealand under our climate and in the case of an earthquake or a fire. The aim of the project is to give the building industry a better understanding of how SIPs perform. This work will help to develop a more simplified consenting process for those interested in using SIPs. EQC is supporting the seismic work stream of this research because it aligns with our mission to build stronger homes on better land, not only to protect lives, but also to reduce the impact following earthquakes. Several configurations of SIPs have been tested using seismic loading to determine how they would perform during an earthquake. The key findings from the seismic resistance testing showed that the SIP systems tested had suitable ductility, strength, and stiffness to be able to resist the required earthquake loads from the New Zealand building codes. In addition, the damage that the panels showed was far less than we often see in other types of more conventionally used systems. Of the two types of timber-based panel SIPs that were used for the testing, there were no significant differences between them. We want to understand how SIPs perform long term under New Zealand's climate, so we've taken small sections of SIPs panels and exposed them to different temperature and humidity conditions. And we've also looked at how ageing impacts the seismic performance of SIPs. The results so far show that SIPs retain a high level of strength after ageing and don't seem to be significantly affected by the accelerated ageing process. We've tested timber-based SIPs with different core materials and there doesn't seem to be any significant difference between how those different types of panels perform. The durability work stream isn't finished yet and next up we'll be looking at how samples that have been aged outside in a simulated wall enclosure compared to the ones that have been aged in the lab. The fire performance work stream is seeking to understand how SIPs will perform in fire. This is going to be based on international and New Zealand literature around fire performance of SIPs. We're looking at the fire performance of materials that make up different types of SIPs panels as well as how a whole SIPs building might perform in a fire. SIPs are already considered in some international building codes and large scale testing of their fire performance has been done in some countries so we're looking to see what we can learn from that. The SIPS project with Brands is one of EQC's many collaborations with researchers to ensure that new innovations that help speed up building for New Zealand's housing market also meet the challenges of the New Zealand environment. The next step for this project with Brands and EQC is to ensure that the information and the results get into the hands of people who need it. This includes the construction industry and engineers who need to have confidence that the materials they're building with will keep New Zealanders safe. To find out how the research progresses, head over to the brand's website and stay tuned for a final video update later in the year.